Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we have a cooking video, I would say. I made kaju cutli, and if you don't know what kaju cutli is, it's like a cashew fudge. I'm so shocked that I was able to do this for the first time because it's so fudgy, it's so chewy, and it's literally perfect. The recipe is so easy, and, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this. So make sure to stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so you're going to need one cup of sugar, two cups of cashew nuts, and half a cup of water. And I borrowed some ghee and some cardamom powder from my mom. so thanks to her for that because I literally had none. Um, so you want to blend your cashew nuts in a grinder and you want to try and get this as fine as possible because you're then going to need to sift the kind of powder. And to be honest, I found this part really difficult because it's already kind of oily so it's kind of clogging up my sieve so i would say just use your hand don't use a spatula and just take your time it does take a while so once you have that fine powder you're going to mix your sugar and water on a pan let it boil i would say for like five minutes on low to medium heat and you want this stringy consistency uh, when you put it between your fingers i then added in the cashew nut powder now I will leave the link to the recipe that I followed in the info box. It didn't really mention the heat, so I just kept it on low to medium to be honest and cooked this for a while. I added in one tablespoon of ghee and a couple of pinches of cardamom powder. I would, uh, the recipe says I think a quarter of a teaspoon and yeah, just give this a stir and I cooked this until you could see that the, the paste was holding its shape I would say and then you want some baking paper put some ghee all over it and pour the paste onto the baking paper and to be honest this is the fun part you just have to keep playing around with the paste until it becomes a dough it needs to cool down and be really careful because this is so hot um, but yeah just keep playing around with it with the spatula and then I used the baking sh paper sheet to fold it in between my hands because this is super hot guys so be careful if you're going to do this and as the paste cools down it starts to get thicker and eventually you're going to end up with a ball of dough really and you want to just kind of roll it into a ball and flatten it slightly grab your rolling pin and start rolling it flat don't obviously you need to put baking paper on top because this stuff's super sticky um but yeah don't do it too thick i would say um just uh, if you do mess up you can always roll it back into a bowl and re-flatten it re-roll it out but um yeah i would say like a centimeter thick i would say don't quote me on that <laughs> but you don't want it too thick because it's just too much in one bite i would say and then for this part for the cutting bit you can use a ruler but i just uh, eyeballed it and i as you can see like i straightened out the edges and then I kind of cut out these diamond shapes now before cutting you can put the silver foil but i literally couldn't find the silver foil, foil anywhere not in my local tesco or even amazon and i feel like it was so overpriced so i just went plain obviously it would have been much better with the silver foil but i couldn't get it anywhere guys um so yeah that's the final result i hope you guys do try this out if you do let me know in the comments below let me know if how you got on with it but this stuff is so yummy i'm addicted